Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and let's talk about the next problem on dynamic programming. So this is problem 1000 from the leak code. And so let, yeah, let's solve this problem together. So here is the problem statement. Uh, you can you can pause this and uh, read the problems. Okay, so let's first handle the case where we have to return number negative one. In this case, that's, that's the case when you cannot merge stones successfully so here i here there are two examples we have nine stones and you can merge three coins together here you have 10 coin i mean 10 stones and you can merge three stones together so in this case for n equals nine and for k equals three you can merge them successfully how is that the case so here first you merge these three stones together and then they will become just one so these three guys will be here when you sum them up be here and then you sum them up again these three stones and it will be here and then you sum these three guys and then they will cut there will be this value and then you can sum these three guys and then you are left with nothing so here you can merge stones successfully so you are left with three stones and then yep you can merge them and you are left with zero for n equals 10 you have well you do the same thing but then notice that here here when you are left with four stones you can merge the first three and then you are left with two two stones so you cannot merge them so in this case this is where you have to return negative one so can we determine this using just one line of math equations okay so let's think about this so from here from this first step to the second step well you are you are combining three stones but then you also have to return some of these guys right so you are subtracting only two stones from here to here so from here we had nine stones and here we have seven stones so we are actually subtracting k minus one and here in this case well so how should we do this uh without like doing recursive or without running the while loop how do you get from here to here immediately so how do you get from here to here well so we should so this one is well three obviously so we have n minus m times k minus one that should equal to k where m is some positive integer now um so how do you check this well suppose that this is true like this n minus m times k minus one is equal to k so when you when you when you assume that that is true you can move k to the left hand side you can move negative m times k minus one to the right hand side and then you can divide n minus k by k minus one then you will get n minus k over k minus 1 that's equal to m now we know that m must be a positive integer so this is equivalent to saying like whether whether the modulo so whether this n minus k modulo k minus 1 is equal to 0 if that is equal to 0 then we move to the next step which is we are building the we are building our dp tables if that's not the case if this is not equal to zero then we return negative one so that's that's the that's how you handle this case now here so how so um what is the uh, recurrence relationship for this dp so this one is going to be another substring dp problem so far like you have seen prefix dp and you have seen suffix dp but this is a um, substring dp so here our so let's define dp of left comma left plus j j some number like positive number integer that's the minimum cost to merge stones from stones left to stones left plus j okay so to be more precise mathematically this is our definition for now so dp of left comma left plus j equals you take the minimum of all the s in the range of left plus left plus j and then with increment of k minus one 
and then you take you find all the all this value and you take the minimum so dp of left comma s plus dp of s plus one comma left plus j for all s that's satisf that's in this range okay and um so are we done well we are not done actually there is some problem with this so first we initialize our dp matrix that's going to be um n by n so length n so length length of stones that'll be n so n by n matrix with all entries equal to zero so if we have say stones with this example three five one two and six with k equals three now let's look at dp of zero comma two that's equal to using this definition we should have dp of zero comma zero plus dp of one comma two that's just zero plus that's just zero plus zero equals zero because initially they are all set to zero well but something's not right right because we know that dp of zero comma two that should be equal to three plus five plus one that's which is nine right you can merge you can actually merge three five and one to nine so our recurrence relationship this formula needs to reflect this so how should we do this well for dp of 0 comma 2 we know that we are looking at a uh, substring of length 3 since our k is equal to 3 we check if j modulo k minus 1 is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 then we add all the sums of stones at 0 all the way to stones at 2 so stone 0 stones 1 stones 2 so so that's for the dp of 0 comma 2 now for dp of 0 comma 3 well we use this formula again like for all s in the range of this guy we find the minimum of dp of left comma s plus dp of s plus 1 comma left plus j okay so we take the minimum minimum of these two two so dp of 0 comma 0 plus dp of 1 comma 3 and dp of 0 comma 2 plus dp of 3 comma 3 well, dp of 0, 0 and dp of 3, 3 that's equal to 0. And dp of 1, 3 and dp of 0, 2 that's, well, dp of 1, 1, 3, you are summing all the stones from stones 1 plus stones 2 plus stones 3. And this is from stone 0 plus stones 1 plus stones 2. So you take the minimum and you get 8. So dp of 0, 3 is 8. Now, do you have to add like these sums? Is the sum of stones from 0 1 2 and 3 no we don't have to do this because we are looking at the uh, substring of length 4 and 4 modulo k minus 1 is not equal to 0 right if, if say if we are if we are looking at substring of 5 that means we can merge them merge them together so you know first you take the first three and they will give you one number and then you have two remaining numbers and you you already have one number that's that came from summing summing the first three so you can merge them again and you, and you are left with nothing but in this case since the uh, substring we are looking at has a length of four and four modulo k minus one is not equal to zero so you do not add this so it will be just this guy you are taking just the minimum so to summarize this so our re, uh, recurrence relationship for dp should reflect should reflect that part. So we have dp of left comma left plus j that's equal to minimum. We take the minimum of all s in this range. So uh, so I'm again using a Python notation. So dp of left comma s plus dp of s plus one plus comma left plus j, and then you just take the minimum of all the s in this range. Now you also check if j modulo k minus 1 is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then you have to sum them up. Right? So you have to sum all the stones from starting 0 to stones at left plus j. Okay? And, and because we, we will be using like this summation a lot, why don't we create a um, you know, prefix sum, prefix sum, like an, an array of prefix sum, like before we do this dp 
So let's just call it prefix sum, and then this array will be defined like this. So first element will be zero, second element will be stones of zero, third third element will be stones of zero plus stones at one, and so on. So so using all this, we can summarize in this way: dp of left comma left plus j. So would be so we have dp of left comma left plus j plus equal so there will be this guy plus this guy so prefix of sum at left plus j plus one minus prefix of sum at left so this should work and so this is my code and so this is our first step testing whether we can build dp if this is false if this is not equal to zero we return negative one and we are done if that's not the case, then we build the DP, we build this prefix sum array, and then we fill, we fill out this DP table. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's see how our, our code runs, okay? Okay, so here is my code and let's run this. Okay, so as you can see, in this problem, I use the, um, the bottom-up approach, which is my favorite way of solving DP problem. If you can, like, you can try to do like top-down approach on your own, as you saw in my previous video. If you know either approach, you can do the other approach. And so, thanks for watching my channel. And if my video helps, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting my YouTube channel, so my audio quality and editing skill are not where I want them to be. However, I think this will be improved in the coming videos. So yeah, so thank you again for watching my videos and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.